Joining me now for a reaction from the other side, Massachusetts Democratic Congressman Jake Auchincloss. He serves on the House Financial Services and Transportation and Infrastructure Committees. Congressman, welcome. Good to be here. How devastating is Senator Manchin's announcement to the Democratic agenda? This is one package stalling out in the U.S. Senate. We saw this with infrastructure at the beginning of 2021, where the House passed the Invest Act, didn't make it through the Senate, but we still got a terrific infrastructure deal done that's investing in water and transit and fixing roads and bridges for the next five years. And I expect that we're going to see the same for the Build Back Better agenda. We will uh, be able to pass components of it. We may have to take a different format, but it's not it's not dead. This version of it is stalled out. A major progressive voice, Senator Bernie Sanders, sounds pretty frustrated. Well, I think Democrats are frustrated because we have had to address uh, searing issues by ourselves. Republicans have made clear that their goal is to obstruct President Biden at every turn, whether that is COVID, whether that is infrastructure, whether that is uh, the Build Back Better agenda, instead of coming to the table with good faith ideas about how to improve it. I would offer that we should be starting with tax cuts for working families, paid for by a carbon tax to address the climate emergency. That is lowering taxes, which should be a Republican issue as well. And that is addressing the climate emergency with a, uh, a policy that is conducive to the free market. Why aren't Republicans engaging on those two ideas? In your view, was it a mistake to put all these components into this one massive bill with a price tag approaching $2 trillion? The, the president outlined a compelling vision for how we were going to make this economy more fair and how we were going to invest in making the American worker more productive. And this package was the best format to getting it done in 2021. And indeed, we got it passed in the House of Representatives. We may need to take a different tack in 2022. The focus right now should be pass voting rights in the Senate before the new year. Nobody should be going on holiday until we protect our democracy. It should be addressing Omicron head on. We're looking at a, at a state in which we might see a million infections a day, both reported and unreported in January. But unlike last winter, there does not need to be a link between infections and hospitalizations. If people get vaccines and get boosted, we can cut that link and be able to avoid uh, really heavy-handed policies that disrupt schools and the economy. And then we should be able to address the tax cuts for working families with kids and the, the climate emergency. We still have a, a clear path here for a compelling agenda for the American people. To COVID, a lot of folks sound confused, even alarmed. What do we need to hear from the president on Tuesday? Omicron is going to be spreading throughout the United States. It is significantly more transmissible than previous variants. And we're going to see a large number of infections into January and February. However, it does not need to be the case that infections lead to serious illness or death. If you get a vaccine, if you convince loved ones to get a vaccine, uh, even an infection does not need to be life altering. And that is the key message that we can cut the link between infections and hospitalizations, but it requires Americans to get the vaccine. Congressman Jake Auchincloss, the great state of Massachusetts. I like the background with the artwork and the plant. Thank you so much for your time. Good to be here.